Hello, my name is Maria. I want to thank you for purchasing our wing overlays. And today I'm going to be showing you how to use them. I'm going to take an image that's already edited, but typically I like to first do any kind of compositing prior to any artistic edits. But for the sake of time, I'm going to go ahead and use an image that has already been edited. The easiest way to do it is just to go to File, Place Embedded, and then choose your wing overlay. But I already have it open here, so what I am going to do is just duplicate my background here for the wings, and I am going to drag them over to my images. Here they are. Now we have placed them in a black background, so I'm going to try a different blend mode until I find one that I like. In this case, it's going to be screen. You can try other blend modes to see if something else is going to work better for your image. If your image is fairly light, it might be harder to see it. So you might have to duplicate it a couple of times. I like it here set to screen and I actually like the size of my wings, but if I felt like they were too big or too small, I can go to edit free transform and change the wings to the size that I would like. I can also change the angle and if I click shift I can expand and stretch the wings out a little bit and hit the OK button now the easiest way I have found to do is utilizing Photoshop's subject selection I feel like it does a pretty good job so I'm gonna go back to my background layer and I'm gonna hit duplicate command J now I'm gonna drag it on top of my wings and then I'm gonna go to select subject and then I'm going to add a mask now that it's in there it looks great because our subject is on top here I can actually move and shape our wing wings below without it affecting my subject so I can go down to that layer and continue to move it until it's where I like go back to free transform maybe make them a little bit smaller and then click shift to widen them a little bit and i think i like them here i'm going to zoom in just to make sure my mask looks good and if there's anything that bothers me i can add a mask to my wings here and just kind of erase any extra detail i don't like so i don't like it sticking out right here so i'm just using a black soft brush on my white mask and I'm just going to go up here just to make sure I can mask anything off that I do not like and I think that that looks great so I am going to go ahead and flatten and that is our final image thank you so much for watching